everyone, if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. I'm Alexis from AMZ Scout here to talk to you today about a change that we've made to our AMZ Pro extension that can exponentially help you grow your Amazon business. As of April 2018, we have changed our algorithm that predicts and calculates sales for our AMZ Pro extension. If you're wondering how the other one used to work, well, it essentially tracked inventory levels for Let's say for an example, the product, the BSR rank number one, rank number three, and rank number 10. By tracking those inventory levels, we were able to get a sales approximation per month. Now, if you're looking at a product that falls in between the ones that we're tracking, that's essentially an average. Now, that is the algorithm that we use for our basic extension. To find out more about that algorithm, click the link below and our lovely Valentina has a video for you. Well, I'm sure you're wondering how the new algorithm works. Well, this is just a step up from the other algorithm and that it takes historical BSR of the previous 30 days and is able to give you an estimation of sales per day that can be found in graph form right on the AMZ Pro extension. Now, this is great because it gives you a comprehensive sales history that you can just briefly look at and understand what was going on day to day with this product. Product. Now the algorithm will go one step further, take these 30 figures and then compute a average sales per month that again can be viewed right in the average sales column. Any good Amazon seller knows how important it is to have quality data when you're trying to make decisions. Having a feature like our sales history and our new algorithm makes this easy. Now all you have to do is pull up the extension, check out the sales history, and you have everything there right in front of you, whether you are planning your inventory, checking out a new product, or checking out a new niche, or maybe you're trying to check out your competition. All of the information that you need to make these business decisions are now right at your fingertips. So let's take a look at some of the graphs you might see. Pulling up the sales history is very simple. All you have to do is click open the extension and then click the average sales for the product that you wanna see the sales history for. So for this first graph, we can see that it was selling well at the beginning of the month and that has tapered off since the end. It even looks like maybe there was a four day period where it had no sales or maybe it was out of inventory. Now, there are a few things that can cause this, but again, as a seller, you can just briefly look at this, see that it's not selling so well now. Maybe you're looking at a seasonal product and the season, as you can see by the graph, is now ending. You can look, make your decision, and move on. For the second graph, it essentially looks like it is the opposite of the first. Um, it wasn't selling so well at the beginning. This actually looks like a new product, so it's first day of sale it didn't sell as well as it's selling now. So if you're gonna look at this, you can quickly see this, see that it's selling better. Um, look at maybe the keywords that they're using or what they're optimizing to help sell this product. Again, briefly look at it, make a decision with it, and then move on. For the third graph, we see a hill. Now this can signify a few different things. One possibility could be a lightning deal that was working for them during the lightning deal, but as soon as the lightning deal ended, um, it was not able to keep up with the sales. Or maybe it was a PPC campaign that only worked towards the beginning. There's a few different things that this could be, but again, you look, you decide, you move on. This concludes the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it and found something useful from it. Make sure you hit that like button if you did like it. Hit that subscribe button for more content like this. If you are interested in checking out the web app, Pro extension or basic extension, I will leave those links down below for you. Until next time, good luck sellers.